The Chris Smith Show. This is All Things Automotive with Sydney City Lexus and Sydney City Toyota Managing Director John Rocker. 18 to midday. Well, with the recent COVID lockdowns becoming more restrictive, car owners are finding, well, they're driving much less or sometimes not at all, which could be costing you money without realising it. Now, in today's segment, All Things Automotive with John Rocker, we're going to provide you with some tips that will save you money and ensure that your car is not costing you money while sitting in your garage, all in readiness for when restrictions are lifted. If you've got a question for John, you know the number, 131873 is the telephone number, but get in as early as you possibly can. John Rocker, welcome. Chris, good morning. How are you? I'm very well. How are you handling lockdown? Oh, it's very interesting. We're still uh, operating at uh, a very small rate, but uh, look, we're surviving. We're remaining positive. We're going to come out of this at some stage, so we're just preparing for the big reopen. Yeah, so lockdowns in Greater Sydney running into this seventh week. Why is car maintenance important, even if we're, we're not using the car as much as we did before? Yeah, it's interesting. We're getting a lot of calls because we've been in lockdown for quite a while. There are a lot of people that are actually not using their car, so... I thought I'd come up with some tips that might uh, help people that have got their car sitting in the garage or driving them very, very little. And the obvious one to start with would be you, obviously your car battery. Now, there's a couple of uh, sort of old ways of thinking that, you know, if I jump into the garage and just kick the motor over and wait a couple of minutes and have a cigarette while I'm watching my car, it, uh, it will charge the battery and away we go. That won't do. So It won't do. Point, I always thought that that was how we did it. We've got to actually drive the car, do we? Yeah, a lot of people get out there and say, look, I'll turn it over for a couple of minutes each day and ah. that'll do the job. It's actually not enough for your battery and it's not right. good for your engine either. Uh -huh. So we've got to be mindful of engine and battery. My recommendation is pretty simple. Uh, two things. You either drive the car around the block and go for a quick half an hour drive in your you know, LGA if you need to stay within the area. Yep. But the car needs to be driven right. for half an hour. As a minimum, 30 minutes, Chris. I yeah, this is the same with my motorbike. Uh, you know, if I charge it and, you know, I, I don't use it for two weeks, you can bet I've got problems with the battery. And as the motorbike people say, get out and get on it because that's the only way that's your battery it. needs to be charged. Spot on. And the other alternative, if you can't get out or you don't want to get out, um, you can invest in a really good investment, which is called a trickle charger. You plug it into the wall, you, you plug it into your battery. You can buy those from... You know, anything from $90 to $400, Chris, and that'll do the job. You don't need to get out there at all. Right, OK. What about the fluids in the car? Yeah, fluids are interesting. Um, for diesel, owners of diesel vehicles, I'd recommend that you fill your tank to the full amount because moisture does sort of get into your diesel fuel tanks and that can cause a problem when you come out of uh, lockdown in a few weeks' time. So if you own a diesel vehicle, I'd definitely do that. While you're out on your 30-minute spin check your car for vital fluids and they're simple check your oil your coolant is important in this time of the year and so is your brake fluid and your windscreen wiper and wiper blades because we are still in winter so I'd, I'd strongly recommend that you check those if you don't know how to do that refer to your logbook or if you think you're in danger and your car is critical you can drive it to your mechanic or your motor dealer and we'll do it for you aha uh -huh, okay all right what about tires yeah this is an interesting one um a lot of people don't check their tyres because they think it's locked in the garage and not using it, so what do I, what do, I do with the tyres? Again, you can buy at Repco or Autobahn, you can buy a $15 uh, pressure checker, and I would strongly recommend that you check your tyres before you take it for a spin after lockdown because they will be deflating as they're sitting in your garage. Right. And more importantly, Chris, they're also causing a flat spot. Because the car's not being used, <sighs> you'll find that after a few weeks, you drive your car out on the road and it'll feel a little bit odd. Right. That's because it's been sitting there for weeks and you've got a flat spot because the wheels have not been turning. But your 30-minute little exercise out to do your battery, your engine, your tyres will fix all of those. Great hit. That is, that is really good. Not just deflation, but also having a flat spot which could cause disruption to the comfort of your drive. I, I like those tips. They're fantastic. Yeah, you'll get road noise. You'll get road noise and you'll actually feel it in the car, Chris. Okay, fantastic. I've got to take a break. We'll come back and take some calls. 131873 if you've got a question for John Rocker. An update from Japan. Thanks to the new Kia Cerato GT. Get mean. 
morning. I'm Shane McInnes at 44 years of age and at her first Olympics, Victoria Shanae Dyer has finished 10th in this morning's women's marathon in Sapporo. Dyer finishing just 3 minutes and 54 seconds behind Kenyan winner Perez Jepchurcher. Fellow Aussies Ali Pashley and Lisa Waitman finished 23rd and 26th respectively. Gold fan Hannah Green's chances of contending for a medal are slipping away. The West Aussie won over today through 8 holes to be 9 under for the tournament. Green 5 shots off the lead where there's a three-way tie, including American Nellie Corder and New Zealand's Lydia Ko. At the Olympic Stadium tonight, Nicola McDermott is eyeing off gold in the final of the women's high jump. McDermott has already beaten the national record twice this year and will be full of confidence going into this evening's final. Meanwhile, two Aussies in the final of the men's 1,500 metres. Stewie McSwain and Oliver Hoare looking to win Australia's first medal in the event since Herb Elliott for 1960 games in Rome. Last night, Australian and reigning world champion Kelsey Lee Barber Finished third in the women's javelin after struggling for form coming into Tokyo. The 29-year-old threw a season-best 65.56 metres to claim the bronze. And it's finals day in the men's basketball as Paddy Mills and the Boomers seek an elusive Olympic medal against Slovenia. Australia has lost each of its four previous bronze medal matches, most recently in Rio five years ago. This afternoon, the United States and France play off in the gold medal match. For now, that is the latest on the action from Tokyo. Traffic. Miss something? Click on audio and stream or download at 2GB.com. Now up at Rod Meadow, we've still got very steady traffic on all roads around McDonald Jones Stadium due to the COVID testing up there. Also at Waters Bay at the Central Church on Hillsborough Road, very heavy traffic around there. On the M1 between Browra and Hawkesbury Bridge, speed down to 60 k's now for city-bound traffic due to hazard reduction till around about 8 o'clock tonight and the Wiseman's Ferry out of service till Tuesday. And the Hubbard Bridge and Tunnel both moving well in and out of the city. I'm Dennis Leon, Sydney's traffic leader, 2GB. If you're looking for a formula for joint health and mobility with an anti-inflammatory effect, try Bioglan Curcumin Double Strength Tablets. Just one daily dose helps reduce mild joint pain and inflammation. It contains Bioperin, a black pepper extract shown to increase the absorption of curcumin in the body. Bioglan Curcumin Double Strength 1200 milligram is $29.97 at Chemist Warehouse. Always read the label, follow the directions for use. If symptoms persist, talk to your health professional. Chemist Warehouse, great savings every Day. Want 500 flybys bonus points? At Coles Express, spend $15 in one transaction in store, scan your flybys card, and 500 flybys bonus points are yours. Express yourself! At Coles Express. Ends 1st September. Limit one per account per day. Exclusions and T's and C's apply. If you run a local business, us radio listeners would like a word. A word about your garden centre sale. A word about your new online store. A word about your famous meat pies. Because you've got the things we want. But unless you advertise it, we won't know about it. So get on the radio. Then it'll be your store we go to. Your website we visit. And your name we remember. Come on. We're all ears. Advertise on radio and watch your business grow. For help with radio advertising, visit radioalive.com.au. Away from fast city life, you can retire to a place where you can finally relax. Welcome to Marston Living Goulston, a luxury retirement community in a beautiful country setting. Enjoy life in your own large, spacious villa with like-minded neighbours who look out for each other. And you're a short stroll to the community centre with indoor heated pool, movie theatre, gym and more. Marston Living Goulston is retirement without compromise. Discover today at marstomliving.com.au. Mum just got the Finlay sofas from Fantastic Furniture. They're comfy. A little too comfy, actually. When it feels like home, you feel like you. Fantastic Furniture. Find your fantastic in store or online today. Ear Health on Healthy Living. Thanks to Specsavers. Now, Catherine Launchbury is an audiologist with Specsavers. Now, does hearing loss happen suddenly? For most people, it happens gradually over time. And it tends to affect most people as we start to age a little bit. And it it can start to affect you even in your 40s. And it's just gradual wear and tear on your ears. What are some of the telltale signs of hearing loss to keep an ear out for, so to speak? Some of the really common ones. People are putting the television up really loud. They're finding it difficult when they go to the shopping centre to hear, you know, their husband or their wife or even the person at the checkout. And, you know, these days with everybody wearing masks, it makes it that much more difficult to understand what people are saying because you can't get that little bit of lip reading. For those people that pick up their hearing loss earlier and actually treat it earlier, do a lot better. Book your initial 15-minute hearing check for free with a Specsavers audiology professional at specsavers.com.au slash hearing. 
You're listening to The Chris Smith Show on 2GB873. Just quickly on Victoria, those 29 new cases, none of them were in quarantine. None of them in quarantine. You have to be concerned that 29 new cases from six and maybe the genie is out of the bottle in Victoria. Let's hope that that is not the case. They're getting 50,000 new Pfizer doses from the federal government we're hearing today as well. 50,000 new Pfizer doses because of the growing concern over Delta there as well. Ian in Queensland sent me a text message. Wonderful interview with Ross Walker. How can I hear it again, please? Ian, it'll be podcast. It's podcast now, right there on the 2GB.com website. You can hear it again. Keep up the good work. You've got the best show on radio. Thank you, Ian. Much appreciated. Let's go back to John Rocker. John, you've got calls uh, all over the place here. Brian, go right ahead. John's yeah. listening. Hey, Brian. Oh, day, John and Chris. Love your show. Uh, so, um, I've got a yeah. Lexus ES300H, and it's eight years old this year in November. And, right. um, and I'm wondering about the batteries. Like, how long are the batteries going to last, and what's it going to cost to replace? And maybe I should think about selling or holding. What do you think? It's done 135,000 Ks. Okay, so uh, great car, by the way. I have to say that because I'm a Lexus dealer, but uh, they are a fantastic car. Look, the battery... I've loved you, every you're... minute of it. Fantastic, great to hear. Look, that battery's going to last you a lot, lot longer. We've had um, we've got ES300s running around as taxis and hire cars um, with well um, over three and four hundred thousand uh, dollars I'm sorry, kilometres, I should say. But um, the battery oh, warranty is, is eight years, so you're, you're, you've still got warranty. And I think that car still has a lot of life in it, as much as I'd like to sell you a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so in for four years, and I said to my wife, I wouldn't mind getting an NX. And she said, you can't get a new car unless you get a job. I said, can't you get a second job? <laughs> yeah, get her out in a second job, Brian. That's the solution. That's, That's the obvious idea. Idea choice. Yes. That's a well, great idea. Because I'm an old... I'm an old white man, and in this stage of diversity and inclusion, I'm not diverse enough to be included. Yeah, you've probably got too, too much experience and skill as well, Brian. I'm with you. I'm hearing you. Clinton in Cootamundra. Go ahead, Clinton. Oh, good morning, hey, John. Clinton. Chris, thanks for taking my call. Um, it always seems to happen to me when I have a brand-new vehicle, but this morning I was driving along the highway, and I watched this rock thrown up by a truck coming in the opposite direction and did this perfect parabola and then crack bang into the car oh, um, no. and there wasn't any obvious it wasn't any obvious damage to the windscreen that I could see but when I got out to get fuel there's like damage right at the edge of the windscreen like a little mm -hmm. a chip out of the windscreen that put a bit of damage to the pillar does that need to be repaired and can it be repaired or is it just because of its position it doesn't matter it will. Uh, I think you. I would repair it. The simple answer is it can be repaired. It depends on how small it is. They normally drill a really pin, small pinhole through them, and there are companies that will fix that for you. Windscreens, oh, Brian, would be one of them. Yeah. They'll, they'll come to you and fix it there. And I would actually invest in doing that because to replace a windscreen is going to cost you a lot more than that. Exactly. And they do a, an incredibly magical job on those windscreens. Yeah, you, you wouldn't know. You yeah. wouldn't know you had it. Exactly. Good to have you on the program, John. Thank you very much. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Chris. Have a great weekend.